But first tonight, Providence police have arrested three people, including a local school teacher, for allegedly vandalizing the Christopher Columbus statue in Providence. That statue was already boarded up and ringed with a fence, partially out of fear that it would be destroyed. But the police say the vandals splash paint on the wood. Eyewitness News spoke to the Providence councilman who represents that area. Our Anita Buffoni joins us live now with those new details. Anita. Well, Kim, as you can see behind me, the statue has been fenced off and boarded up, but that didn't stop vandals from throwing paint on it. We've confirmed one of the three arrested is a Pawtucket school teacher. Saturday morning, Providence City Councilman James Taylor watched along as the Christopher Columbus statue in the Elmwood section of the city was boarded up. They're going to be putting lighting in here. And with the equipment they're going to come in to put the lighting in, I was afraid that they were going to hit the statue. Plus, obviously, we brought it up with everything that's going on in, in the country. Providence police say they arrested these three suspects, 28-year-old Charlotte Whittingham, 26-year-old Mackenzie Innes, as well as 34-year-old Derek Garforth. The Pawtucket superintendent confirmed Garforth works for the school department. He is listed as a social studies teacher on the website for Jenks Middle School. If they vandalized it, like the three that got arrested last night, um, I believe they'll be charged with a felony because it is a historical um, thing. The felony crime they are all charged with is desecration of a monument and conspiracy, according to police. Police say they were surveilling the area Friday night when they saw three individuals slowly drive by at the intersections of Elmwood and Reservoir Avenues. Police say they then saw a man and woman walk toward the statue and throw objects at it. After the suspects ran away, police followed and caught them nearby. The third suspect was then arrested in the car seen driving by the statue. In the car, police say they found open containers of white and purple paint matching the paint thrown at the statue. As for whether or not the statue should be taken down, Councilman Taylor says he does not support that. I'm only one person. I'm just a councilman in the area and I'll fight for, to, for it to stay here. Um, but like I said, we have to listen. I have to listen to my constituents on what they want. And the Pawtucket superintendent tells us they are investigating and Garforth was put on leave pending an investigation. Live in Providence, I'm Anita Buffoni, Eyewitness News.